Hi guys, Matt here from Paltan.org and we are in the beautiful country of Spain to test drive the new or facelifted Mini Cooper S. And let me just tell you right here that there is nothing out there quite like this bad boy. Mini Cooper is an iconic car that's originally conceived to combat the rising cost of fuel. And this was right after the Second World War, during which people preferred huge cars with big engines that consumed a lot of fuel. But it wasn't just built to be frugal. The Mini had to be small without being impractical, fun to drive without being too punishing a ride, and most importantly, it had to be affordable, especially during a time of crisis. Fast forward today, the Mini has grown in absolutely every single aspect. It is incredibly fast, it has a lot of tech, it rides more comfortably than ever before, but at the root of it, it is still uncompromisingly a Mini. Design-wise, the proportions may have blown up over the years, but nothing out there in the market looks anything like the Mini. To those who like to stand out, this aspect is invaluable. Up front, you get redesigned headlights with full circle LED daytime running lights, and the main beam itself is full LED with matrix technology. Around the side, it sits on a new set of 17 inch alloys, but what I love best about the facelifted three door is the full LED Union Jack taillights. Not everyone is a fan of this, but personally, I think this is just brilliant. On the inside, it gets small but welcome tweaks such as a new fuel gauge, repositioned drive mode selector, updated head unit with GPS, voice recognition and smartphone pairing functionalities, as well as an LED backlit Union Jack motif on the dashboard. Lovely stuff. Powering this car is the same 2.0-litre 4-cylinder engine with turbocharged or BMW slash Mini twin power turbo technology making 192 horsepower and 320 newton meters of torque. That's exactly the same from before, it's unchanged whatsoever. But the biggest change here is the fitment of a new 7-speed dual clutch transmission which replaces the old 6-speed automatic unit and let me just say that I I much prefer this unit over the old one. Why? Because it's a rapid firing transmission and in a car that's branded as a go-kart, I think a super aggressive gearbox such as this really does the car some justice. In markets such as Europe, the manual version outsells the automatic, but with this 7-speed DCT, the gap might be closer than ever. I still think the manual is best enjoyed in a car like this, but objectively, the DCT makes a lot more sense and that's the transmission that we will pick it. In terms of ride, it's pretty much the same as before. In fact, almost identical even. The suspension tuning is a little bit on the stiff side, but it's deliberately done unlike the W176 Mercedes-Benz A-Class. That is the older A-Class, for those of you who don't know. Here, the Mini feels just as planted on the highway as it is when you're blasting through B roads. Push it hard into the corners and you get a bit of slip on the rear end, but once you lift off the gas, it just regains composure and off you go hunting for the next corner and the next and so on. The steering wheel is electric and it is a mighty quick wreck. So it's, it makes the car feel very agile. It's like the car responds to your steering inputs almost immediately. Uh, that said though, there's a little bit of a, it's a little bit dead off center. So it's not a bad thing because this is the kind of car that you can also take on highway jaunts and it won't be tiring that way. As before, there are three drive modes that come with the car, starting with green, which is eco, mid, which is normal, and sport. 
Each of the drive mode changes the way the transmission and throttle behaves, and the exhaust sound becomes raspier with pops and crackles that add drama to the entire experience. There's a coasting function in mid and green mode to conserve more fuel, and it does that by disengaging the clutch from the engine, which removes drag. Overall, the Cooper S is largely the same as before, but the new 7-speed DCT is really icing on the cake. It's quicker to shift, it's more engaging to drive, and it's still as quirky as ever. Again, there's nothing quite out there like this Mini, both in the way of looks and especially in the way it drives. This is perhaps the closest feeling you'll get from driving a go-kart. And if you enjoy driving and would like to look good doing it, well, this is really worth a look. What do you think? Let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this in the future. This has been Matthew. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.